Welcome to lesson one on using samples and populations to collect data. In this video, we'll look at some definitions. First one we have is population. This is the set of all things or people being considered. So for example, if a company makes computer chips, then all of the computer chips made in the factory are considered the population. A census is a data collection method using each member of the population. Now because you use each member of the population, this can often be costly, time consuming, very difficult or impossible to complete. An example of conducting a census would be if every computer chip was checked for defects, then you conducted a census. Now a sample is just a portion of the population. It doesn't include everyone or everything. And this is necessary when a census is not possible because of cost or time constraints. Now if the sample size you choose is too large, then the data collection would be costly or time consuming, just like conducting the census would be. Now if the sample size is too small, then it may not be representative of the population. So picking the appropriate sample size is important for getting accurate results. Now an example of a sample would be if half of the computer chips in the factory were tested, then you would have a sample. Now valid conclusions are when the results of data collection represent what is typical of the population. So for example, if you're in the cafeteria with 100 students, and you ask four of your friends their favorite food. If three say pizza and one says a salad, then you can't make the statement that most people like pizza, since you only asked four of your friends and there's a hundred students in the cafeteria. That's not representative of the whole population. So sample size is important. Not only is sample size important, but who you ask is important as well. So for example, if you were conducting a survey on the importance of school sports, and you only asked the school teams, sports teams like the volleyball team and the basketball team and the soccer team, that will get very different results than if you were conduct the survey with the rest of the school. So who you ask, how many you ask, even when you ask, these are all very important considerations to ensure you have valid conclusions.